higher ed, um, as you know, we have a big focus on, um, and I think you'll see us steer both capital requests and operating money toward those things that can help uh, produce more degrees in Tennessee. So with that, I will stop and take your questions on whatever you'd like. Actually, let's start with pure budget questions. We want to go to others. You know, we talk to parents about the tuition you have. They really, you get, you get, a, you get an earful. Um, and I, so this, is this 2 to 4 percent increase, is that a likelihood to keep that low? Well, you know, they, they obviously uh, put some conditions on that in terms of the rest of the, of the budget funding for uh, for the state. And we have, to, we have to wait and see how that matches up with what we can put in there. So uh, it, it, tuition pressure is a real deal, like I said. In my, as I've said before, my concern with not making uh, higher ed unaffordable to middle class folks is real. It's not just true in Tennessee, but it's across the country. It's one of the w reasons we pressed on the on the, both systems to try to say, are we are we allocating are they allocating their own resources internally in the right way? Yeah. Is thirty million dollars for higher ed operating reasonable? I don't. I mean, it's a it's a reasonable request for them to make. Whether it's a it's reasonable for us to fund that or not, I, I don't know. Uh, and that, like I said, it's a this is a really tough budget. Where, like I said, we're already you know hundred million behind in revenue after a few months. So. Uh, I understand why they're asking for that, and to keep tuition low, there's a need for the state to do its part. It's just too early for me to say yet whether we can do that. Are you really that simple? <coughs> I mean, one could almost say raising tuition every year, year after year, is almost like raising taxes every year, which you try not to do. I mean, is there something fundamental that you understand why they want more money every year? Well, uh, th th their pressures are, you know, Higher, higher ed is primarily, most of their costs are people driven. If they're going to give raises and they're going to pay for utilities to go up, their costs are going to go up. And so I think what they said is their costs are going up about 3% a year, which overall is not, not that bad. Um, their issues are, are that t uh, tuition has had to go up more than that because over a period of time they've gotten a lot less public dollars. And that, that's what's driven them. So I'm very sympathetic to both the cost pressures they're under, but also to parents saying, hey, enough. We understand tuition you know, has to go up, but the amount it's gone up recently is a problem. It's one, as I said, government's all a big piece of pie. It's one of the reasons we've tried to work so hard on controlling 10 care costs, because that's where all our dollars are going. And so they're not going to higher ed.